Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is very useful and interesting to a lot of gardeners out there. If you are like me who gets disappointed, frustrated and scared with the caterpillars and hornworms that eat your leafy vegetables, tomatoes, um, all the vegetables in your garden, then please do watch this video. I have used many organic sprays like neem oil spray, garlic spray, turmeric sprays they are not as effective as the one right in my hands. This is called Bacillus thuringiensis and this is a bacteria which is naturally found in the soil and the short form for this one is Bt. Bt proteins are allowed in organic farming since 1920 so this is not a chemical or a pesticide so you don't have to worry about that. This, this is actually bacteria which is non-pathogenic that means it doesn't cause any disease and this is only species specific. This is safe to all animals, including birds, earthworms, um, beneficial insects like bees, ladybirds, um, humming, uh, hummingbirds and you know, all of the beneficial insects. It doesn't harm them because this, is, this bacteria is species specific which means um, it only attacks the larvae of the moths and butterflies. So it doesn't attack the moths and butterflies or the eggs of those moths and butterflies, but once, the once they are in the caterpillar form and these caterpillars, they kind of, um, once this is, on the, this, this is sprayed on the caterpillars, then they eat this uh, bacteria. Once the bacteria enters the, um, cat larvae's gut then the then there will they release toxins toxins are activated and eventually caterpillars die poor thing but yeah this is the um, i mean when you just see them on the plants and you see the signs of caterpillars or the leaves there are holes on the leaves then you have to spray this one i got this from amazon or you can get in an, in your local garden center but this one i got it from amazon it's called bacillus thuringiensis or bt so the next question would be how long does it take to kill the caterpillars basically after first spray of uh, bt uh, obviously i'll show you how i usually do it oh usually most of the times it kills overnight i mean depends the caterpillar should eat or should get in contact with this bacteria then uh, within overnight um, you would see the caterpillars, um, they are not there. But, uh, but I, would, I would suggest you every, like, you know, every consecutive weeks, every two weeks, um, if we spray this one, then we are good for that, uh, the whole entire uh, cycle of the plants. So that will, that will take care of the larvae and um, you know, it will be protected. When is the best time to spray this one on the plants? The best time would be because this is bacteria and this is highly susceptible to sunlight so and also when there is rainfall or you are over you are doing overhead watering on your plants then this this washes off so and it won't be effective so i would suggest you to check your forecast and if it is too sunny then i would suggest um spraying either early in the morning or in the evening i do it in the evenings because some larvae some caterpillars like um they hide underneath the inside the soil and they come out at night to eat the leaves so uh, evenings would be uh, ideal in you know with my experience now let's go ahead and spray this one this is pressure sprayer bottle you can get it from amazon or any garden store and i have filled up one almost like one gallon of water and I'm going to use, shake this bacteria, Bt, turicide. And then it needs, it, it does say instructions, you know, use uh, some quantity, but I would go a little bit more because in order to be effective, I'm using almost like two tablespoons of this Bt. And now I'm going to pump it I'm going to check on the back side of the plants usually that's where the these tiny caterpillars are hiding and they munch as you can see they have eaten the um, this crop 
so obviously by using this spray it's not going to fix the um, the leaves that have already holes in it but it will definitely you know the new growth that is coming up it definitely prevents from the caterpillars so, so I'm going to spray it underneath and inside the soil on the soil on top of the leaves and this one looks healthy so still I'm going to spray this one just in case if there are any larvae it will kill that one hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye